Welcome back to my channel and let's dig into one of my favorite ways to welcome spring with planting seeds. This year our oldest son has been into a book he conquered reading called My Green Green Garden. I can read a green green garden. Time to plant my garden. Lyric, you set all the seeds up? Which ones are you most excited to plant? Pumpkins? What about corn? You ready? Here you go. Pour that in the empty ones. Once he read something, he wants to do it. So off to the greenhouse we went to buy some seeds just like Little Critter. He is a huge Halloween fan, so of course we got pumpkin seeds. Little Critter in the book also plants corn, and usually you don't pre-start corn. I know this. Lincoln, are you gonna touch the dirt? Oh, oh. It's pouring out the bottom. Mojo! I figured we would do it so he can see some variations in his indoor seedlings. This year we're trying two different varieties of corn to see which one we like better. We planted a early sun glow variety of corn and it takes 65 days to maturity. And then we also planted a silver queen variety which has a much longer maturity. It takes 92 days to maturity. So we planted both and we'll see which one we like better. We also planted beefsteak tomatoes, cucumber, and once we're out in the garden boxes, we will do our family favorites that the kids love to just eat right off of the vine, pretty much. The peas, beans, and carrots. I'm hoping my mom will hook us up with my favorite, a zucchini starter and cherry tomatoes. This year we are going to try the three sisters method, which is to grow corn, beans, and squash all together. Ultimately the corn stalks get really tall, then the beans can climb and wrap around and up them, while the squash, or in our case we'll be doing pumpkins, create a nice foliage coverage on the ground. Those are marigold seeds. They're gonna be flowers. Isn't it so interesting that some of the seeds, they look like a stick? Oh. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it? Mm hmm Careful, don't let it go up your nose. It's really little. Did you find a little worm? Then we just transplanted some herbs that we got, some basil and some parsley. I wouldn't say I have a green thumb, but I really love growing our own food and especially love having the kids forage in the yard all summer long. I loved growing up on a farm and my mom would plant a beautiful full garden and us kids would spend all snacking hours and moments out there foraging for berries or fresh peas. Nothing could be her fresh potatoes recipe, let me tell you, which I'll have to cook up again and share with you guys because it's absolutely what made me fall in love with potatoes. Uh oh. Lincoln, you give the plant some love. Give him a kiss. Our strawberries out front are doing phenomenal. Lots of new growth on them. So I'm very excited about that. We got some super adorable chicken statues from my grandmother. My chives are coming in. I got a few more little strawberries tucked away. That's the water. And that's the comb. The comb. 
And that's the feet. Good job. I think I'm, this is, this is the feet. Lincoln, yes. do you like the chicken? Feet. That's the water. <laughs> that's the, whoa, that's a yard glass. Okay, yeah. let's go see the rhubarb now in the back. This is our little side area. <laughs> the kids don't usually come back here because I have cleavers that grow in these rocks right beside the neighbors. So I tend to spray them a lot to clean them out. But I've been picking the Canada thistle and stuff out of here a lot. So it's definitely looking a lot cleaner. And Tamara, the rhubarb. This is the rhubarb. We planted it last summer. We got a big chunk of it from friends and you can see the new growth pushing through. What's this? That's a rhubarb, honey. I'm so excited. Don't hurt it, Linky. Gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. It's coming. The rhubarb is coming. Don't pull on it, please. So we got some fresh new growth here and over here, here, here. So yeah, this will be an awesome rhubarb spot. I'm thinking I'm also going to try and plant some asparagus on this side that will come back every year. That would be pretty cool. Oh yes. Have you found the cleavers again? Uh oh. Yeah, the cleavers are really hard to get rid of. Once you have cleavers, they are really, you have to physically pick them out of the ground and throw them in the garbage or Burn it the, to the bin or whatever. But cleavers are like really sticky, they're really invasive, and they can make you really itchy. So this is all, all these little green is all cleavers. Yep. So that'll be going. What's that? A cactus. A cactus? That's a dandelion. <laughs> dandelion. Can you open this gate for me, honey? <laughs> Lyric is showing us over here. This is our Saskatoon. It's doing really good, Tama. It's coming back. The Saskatoon is slowly, I mean, I don't think it's dead. I think it's coming back. Just barely here. Hopefully it'll make some momentum here this year. Raspberries still look fairly dead. But they'll, they'll come back. They just need a little more time. And then in this green barrel, I had chives. And they're starting to come. You can see them right Mommy. here. Some chive plants coming back. Blueberries are coming. See? Oh, do you see the new growth on the blueberry plant? Good. My grandmother on my father's side also planted the most monstrously huge garden. And I have so many memories of visiting her and out there with the cousins, checking through the raspberry bushes and even seeing grapes growing on her grapevine. I want to tribute both of these moms for inspiring me to keep a garden of my own. We'll see if we get to this summer project, the gravel pit, that will be a barbecue zone. This other strawberry patch is slow to come back. Well, hopefully it will. This is my other chive zone. And you can see the chives are doing phenomenal. They've all come back really good this year. This patch, this patch gets lots of good sun. So I think maybe in between these chives, I'll plant another herb, would be fun. Chickens are loving all of the fresh greens and grass that's growing so got to watch them as they explore a little bit out and about in the yard right girls Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and this content and that you are inspired to grow your own food a little bit, plant your own garden, even if it's just for the fun of exploring and seeing the plants grow and flourish and watching the amazement that your kids have for it. Okay.